least the rain provides some cover. <laughs> what? Surprised to see me here? I am a guard and a soldier. I've got the help in this fight too, you know. Or are you scared? I'm sworn to protect this land and its people, but I'm a bloody guard. Nothing of this scale has ever happened to me. Then again, we've got Agnar leading us. There's no way we can lose. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, you remind your me of my attention, son. please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my nerves. Fair people of Valskar. For almost 700 years, you have graciously allowed my family, the Borvaldurs, to lead you. Through thick and thin, you have worked hard, supported us, and provided unwavering loyalty. Unfortunately, not all who live in Palskar are content. The Yunvaldir see the throne as their birthright, and something that can be owned or taken. They have started war after war, seeking power, their greed unmatched. One hundred years ago, they even agreed to give up, to stop fighting, and to accept peace. However, over the last few months, Ingvar Junvaldir, Jarl of Stalgar, has repeatedly broken that agreement. He has kidnapped my family, terrorized my people, gathered an army, and destroyed our great city. But now, the heart of the gods is within his grasp. And he has forced my hand. In honor of those who fell at Borval, we must take up arms and return the favor, ending this once and for all. The Horn of Stalgard. Let's do this. Come on now, keep it up! You stay alive, Olvir. <laughs> oh, they came out of the hills. Good. Keep your eyes open. I have to admit, I'm a bit scared. I've never been in a battle either. Not like this. Come now, don't let an old woman take up the front lines. <laughs> You're doing well so far, keep going! Huh? What was that? Let's show these bastards what we're made of. Of course, 
they've got the way through blocked, why wouldn't they? Who is that? Necessary. <laughs> Ask me that again once this is all over. It's not over yet. Yep. I'm glad to see you're still kicking. Keep up the attack. Swinging. Keep up all right. the attack. Let's do this. You're too late. I'm off to get the heart now. Oh, come here, you, you bastard. Find out where it was. Oh, will you help me out with that one? When I took your wife and kid, I was going to interrogate them to find out. Oh, you... However, on my way there, I got word that you had flocked in to save them. How heroic. With you and your little clan gone out of town, it was easy enough for my thieves to sneak in and get that book. You didn't know where it was until then? Not until you were all kind enough to show me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be going. Oh, what a prick. You four want a piece of us. Huh? What was that? I knew it! <laughs> You 
stay away from him. Pick on someone your own size. What? Are you scared? Come here, you bastard. You must go after him immediately. His city is raised, and his army defeated. His only hope now is to get the heart of the gods. We must fight up to the temple containing it, to the west. Let's go! You just missed Ingvar! Of course! To stop him, but he was on his horse. He is heading to the heart chamber. We must follow him immediately. Let's go. Oh boy, and I'm wearing leather, leather, metal armor. Agnar, you better stay alive. You've got a wife and kid to get back to. Let me do the heavy hitting if you must. I think I'm finally getting my wind back after all these years. Interesting. Oh, good. You ready? We've got more bastards ahead. Come on, we need to stop Ingvar. I'll get the door then. Come on now. There we go. Oh. You're no man. He's bleeding. You say that now, but we're not even halfway there yet, I suspect. I can't run with that thing. One of these days I'll get that through my head. That sounded bad. This feels like a perfect spot to get ambushed. Everyone watch out! Just in case. Gods, this rain is really coming down, isn't it? Huh? I'm getting out of here. We've got trouble. Ah! Cleared out. Say what I will about this thing being heavy and awkward. It is really good at taking heads off. Although I'm not sure how much of that is the axe and how much of that is me at this point. It is quite a sharp axe. Gods. Raining in sheets. I suppose I should be glad it isn't snowing. You can still at least kind of see. Gods, what is this place? Some lightning. Oh boy. 
Is that what I think it is? Yes, apparently it is. Oh boy. No time to get distracted by the sights. Sheath your weapons. Hey, watch out. On sacred ground. Oh, great. Oh, great. Ingvar! Ah! You're just in time. After all, nobody's been in here for 600 years. I would hate for you to miss this momentous occasion. I'd already have the heart, but it appears to have some kind of magical shield around it. Something that Book forgot to mention. But, no worries. My wizards are sure that they can remove the barrier in a timely fashion. Those keys you gave me worked wonderfully. I studied each one for quite some time. I'm truly honored to be the one in my family that finally gets to use them. What are you doing this for, Ingvar? Why must you buy for such power? Because he's an insecure little want shit. Power! I want what is rightfully mine! Do you know what it's like to have something? That is yours, taken from you, then displayed, just out of reach every single day of your life. Yalmar led the group that discovered Falskar for years. They were loyal to him. Then, just because he wasn't the one that helped them, they all flocked to Olaf. Forgetting the services that Yalma had provided. To this day, the Borvaldurs remain at the throne that they took from my family. A throne that is not theirs. The throne is not something you're entitled to, Ingmar. The people have the right to choose their leader. They chose the Borvalders. They've done nothing but provide wisdom and help. Your family does nothing but cause trouble for the people. That is not true! <laughs> How did you get your people to follow you so loyally? That is a very you good question. Power, didn't you? you would get the heart and use it to help them. You lied to your people. That is the first thing that a king can do. You betrayed your city. How could you possibly hope to rule all of Falskar? I will not stand here being assailed by your petty claims. Admit it, Agnar. You've lost. After all this time and smooth sailing, you failed. You have let your family and your people down. Now, don't any of you move. I'll make this quick. We have to do something, Agnar. We must stall him. Duel me! Agnar! Excuse me? You heard me. I am challenging you to a round of combat. No guards. None of my companions. Just you and me. Agnar! Agnar! Please! If you have a single drop of honor in your blood, you'll accept, or forever be known as a coward. <laughs> Fine. I'll play your little game. But fighting an old man wouldn't be much of a challenge, now would it? He's no. younger than I am. I want to fight the Traveler. 
They come waltzing through the gateway, supposedly foretelling some grand oh. tragedy that is to plague the land. Must be the armor he can't Certainly tell I'm a little must old woman. Be special. Great. She will provide a challenge. So I want to fight her. Oh, this you should be must good. Do it. I'm okay you with that. You are a Nord. Just like us. You understand, honor. You must fight Ingvar in my stead. But do not fight for your honor. Fight for the honor of the people of Falskar. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, you bet it is. <laughs> You're an ugly souled bastard, you know that? Enough! Hold them! What? You cheater! Son of a bitch! I can't move! Finally, the heart Ingvar. is all mine! <laughs> What the holy Ingvar's screams echoed through the great cavern as Akrindin swooped down and carried him away, tearing not only at his body, but his very soul. Agnor gently placed the heart of the gods back upon its pedestal, and the chamber was resealed. Our efforts that day had paid off. Ingvar and Valder was dead. A land free of his family's endless conquest for power. But not all was won on that day. Borvald lay in ruin, as did Stalgard. Two mighty blows that may mean darker times yet awaited the land. But that was not our concern right now. For on this day, Falskar was saved, thanks to the valiant efforts of our king, his people, and the traveler, an outsider whose involvement in these events was destined by the gods themselves. The people may continue to live, to farm, their children can once again play in the forests, and while the land is not without issue, it has a moment to live. And to enjoy. Falskar is safe. For now. Thank you, my friend. For everything you have done. For the people of Falskar. <laughs> you Excuse put me. yourself in harm's way for the greater good of Falskar. Many times. That is not something that most women would have done. Excuse me. I hope that this Jeez. may serve as a reward for oh, your actions. Sorry. What you did is not something that many would have done. And we owe you. I promise you that the scholars of Falskar will remember you. Brother Thorlo will make sure of that your deeds are more than mere legend. <laughs> now please, have some ale. Listen to Rurik play his songs. Relax. You have earned it. We have all earned it. <laughs> this is a song that I wrote so that we may never forget the virtuous feet of the king. His I still can't believe what happened to Borvald. Looking for work? Oh, Gabriel. We could always use an extra pair of hands in the lumber mill, chopping wood, and putting logs with the saw. Held their ground with sword in hand. Who fought what can I do for a fellow Nord? Light and Nothing, I'm just glad we all made it out of that alive. <coughs> Take up your cup, Thank God. raise it high. The doom has come. And I haven't found that hammer yet, but I will. They saved our lives, now false God thrives. A cow would be Glory fun. to the fire. <laughs> Glory to the fire. No 
foe did put up worthy fight Or stand before their awesome might By blade and spell Old Stolga Are you a hunter? Fell. If not, you should try it We've had this conversation, Spagers. Do you need something? I think I need some air, actually. Is not gonna believe that story, is she? 